Um, no boundaries, no borders. Is that where the world needs to go? Definitely. In my view, definitely. But it can only be done by undoing one legal mechanism that created the situation we're in. A lot of people feel that you have a big role to play in the world becoming a better place. Um, no comment. <laughs> and I'm only saying that because I don't want to get... Eat. See, the trouble is with this stuff, it's so easy to fall into the ego trap. If I have a, if I have a role to play, then I will play that role whenever I'm asked to. Do you feel that that role is giving people a platform to have a voice? Yeah, in a way. But I, uh, the problem is that the, the things I perceive, the only way I see this actually coming to some form of conclusion or some way of actually sorting out is through something that would be called a benign dictator. And people are very frightened of these two words. Well, they're not frightened of benign, but they're definitely frightened of the word dictator. But see, the thing is, everybody does as they're told every single day. It doesn't matter what the legislation says, 99% of people out there do as they're told. Now, if the legislation was to change to the greater benefit of everybody and not the greatest detriment as it is now, they would still do as they're told. But they would suddenly realise that things are changing actually for the better. That this, this island has been in the control of a, of a corporation for, for, for at least a thousand years. At least a thousand years. If it's coming to an end? Definitely. It ends soon. Very, very soon. They, they can't continue because they have no means of continuing the, the intent. The, t the intent must be maintained. The intent must be increased the in and the intent is going to change and it's progressive and the, when the good intent comes about then it will become ferociously progressive and it will just wipe out the commercial constructs and everything that's involved in it the government clearly know who you are yes you've done talks all over the country yes you're on youtube your website has millions of hits every week do you think they're afraid of you? No. Afraid of what you can do? No. No, they've been waiting. They've been waiting for someone who will offer them amnesty. They've been waiting for someone who will come along and say, look, don't worry about what you've done. It's what you do from this point on that's important. So they're looking for amnesty. They don't want to do this anymore. They really don't. They know that what they're doing is wrong. They know... The sadness of this is that there is a lot of people out there that are, are involved in the commercial construct and are doing things every single day for one reason, that's basically to survive. So they have to go to work every single day and know that what they're doing is not moral. But they have to do it because they feel that there is no other way they can support their families. They are taxed to the hill. Everything that they've got, they are threatened with its removal if they do not comply. That's a very, very sad situation because that means that the human being is being controlled by a construct and can't escape that construct. And it gets worse day in, day out. They want a way out. But they then, then just, just drop everything and come, come forward and say, well, I've done this and I've done this and this is really how things work. Because they wanna, they've still got that fear of, of, of saving their own hides. From amnesty, that's offered. They can save their own hides and they can actually come forward and say, yeah, what you've been talking about is right. This is what is going on. And I not only can, will I back up what you're saying, I will provide evidence of it. Once that happens, it will become a chain reaction. I'm not here to, I'm not here to punish anybody. I'm here to open my arms and say, you're welcome back to the family. Do you feel like Morpheus giving people the green pill? <laughs> yeah, there's a funny story about that. If you knew what it was going to do, would you have took it in the first place? Do you think people are ready to know the reality of the world that they live in? Yeah, definitely. They want to know now. Yeah, they really want to it's know. The right time yeah, they just want to know. They just they, they've had enough of it. They just they, the, the the perceptions that they've had for so many years, and yeah, you, know, you can only hold on to something for so long. And then it becomes, you become, this is why 
this is why religion's failing, this is why belief systems are failing, because people have held on to these things for so, so long and seen nothing happen. And blind faith only goes so far. And the fact is that more and more people are questioning now, they're actually starting to question the doctrines and the dogmas, they're actually starting to say, hold on a minute, this is not actually right. There's something very wrong here. And because of that, the, the, the institutions who deliver the doctrine and that are starting to, to become very panicky. But again, they require amnesty. They require, they, for, forgetfulness is phenomenal. Even the people that, you know, they, they've uh, been on the receiving end of you telling people about paying parking tickets, about dealing with bailiffs, about legislation, about law, about taxes. You've opened people's eyes to this, but for every action, there's a reaction. Absolutely. So the people that have been on the negative end of the public knowing the truth, how do they feel? Oh, it's quite interesting, actually, because I, I, whenever I talk to someone from... Who did I have a recent chat with? Well, I had a very, very interesting chat with, actually. Oh, a fines office. I had a chat with a lady at the fines office. And um, I asked, just asked her... I stated the obvious. And the funny thing was that she agreed with everything I said. And I said, I know you're only doing your job. I know that it's, it's not up to you, and I know deep down in your heart, if you didn't have to do that job, you wouldn't. And I said, I know if... OK, the people that watch this, the people that feel like they've had their eyes peeled open to see this amazing truth of the world that they live in, and they're a little bit scared, they're a little bit worried, they're a little bit afraid, they don't quite know what the future has in store, what would you say to them to assure them that everything's going to be OK? Um, learn to trust, or remember to trust. And just trust that everything is going to be okay. It the the world, as you see it now, is unfolding in front of everybody's eyes. We've never had to prove that people have been doing things wrong. That's proved by their own actions, and it's becoming very evident at this moment in time, even more so. We don't have to provide any evidence. They're providing their own evidence. This was always the way it was going to work out. What's been constructed and what's been engineered and it has been 100% engineered whether people want to believe that doesn't matter it has been engineered I know this it's being engineered to collapse and it's being engineered to change because it's the only way it can be done and control of this beautiful place we live is being relinquished from humanity it has to be because we cannot go we the biggest arrogance that humanity holds is that it could actually destroy this place. That's laughable. Absolutely laughable. That Mother Nature or whatever's out there, whatever the years is, I know there's something out there. I know that it's, it's helping me. I don't know what it is. I don't know where it is. And to be quite honest, I don't want to know. I don't want to spoil the surprise. I like surprises. And this is a real cool surprise. Mother Nature could wipe us out in the blink of an eye. She's done it, I'm sure she has, many, many times. We've had many, many chances over probably thousands of years to get this right. Well, unfortunately, because we've proved after time and time again that basically we couldn't organise a piss up in a brewery if we tried successfully, because there's always conflict and there's always someone knows better, then the decision was made that it had to be taken out of our hands. And because it has been taken out of our hands, then that means we can't cock it up. We can't stop what's going to happen now. It was, it's been progressive and it's carrying on, but it needs, probably needs just a little bit of help along the way that's going to come very, very soon. But everything is going to work out exactly how it's meant to. And we will live in a peaceful place and we can start repairing the damage that we've done. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I had to stop there because that was a lovely way to sign off, don't you think? <laughs>